A career Grand Slam, total dominance on clay, and he's reclaimed the world number one spot. 2010 has been Rafa's year. When I had the difficult moments last, last year, I received a lot of messages from the fans, uh, from the people around all, all the world, and that was very nice, you know, and for sure that helped me a lot to, to come back. And when you are in a tournament and when you go, you go to practice, you, you go to the hotel and you see the people waiting for you, or you go on court and you, you are there and the crowd support you, that's uh, an unbelievable feeling. No? So I just can say thank you very much all the people around the world. For me, being number one of the world, again, wasn't a goal before, before this season. No? I had an injury problem last year and uh, I didn't play well in the end of the season, so for me, I'm very happy for sure, but I'm more happy because I'm healthy and I'm competitive in every match in our time. For me, the most important moment was when I won in Monte Carlo. That when I won in in, in Roland Garros in our time, that's given me a lot of confidence. You no, know, and it was the most important tournament of the year for me this year. And for sure, after that, uh, winning in Wimbledon was another time amazing. And after U.S. Open in our time last week in Tokyo, so it was a well more than than good year. Always are uh, special matches. And, uh, first of all, uh, go on court. Try to be calm. I, I, ne I never be. I am never calm. <laughs> I always nervous before a final. But uh, just try my best, thinking about point by point, point of every ball, every shot, and just keep playing. Don't think about the, the victory or winning the trophy. Just think about the next point. That's what I I try always when when I am nervous. My motivation was always the same one, no? it's just keep improving my, my tennis and feel myself better every year. No? That doesn't mean that I'm going to win more and more because win or lose not only depends about be better or worse player, but for sure you can keep improving yourself and a lot of things and that's what, what I go every day on court with. when you are in the, in the World Tour Finals. Even if you are number one or no, number eight, it's because you had a, a great season. No? So when I start to see some my first goal is be there. And it's for sure uh, like, a, like a present after a, a, a very good season to, to be there and enjoy the moment. And for sure the court is one more difficult court for me to play well, but I want to try my best another time and try to play much better than, than what I did last year. Next week on ATP World Tour Uncovered, Igor Andreev takes us on a guided tour of his hometown Moscow as we get ready for the Kremlin Cup. And we get the inside track on the IF Stockholm Open from tennis stars turned tournament directors Jonas Bjorkman and Thomas Johansson. <laughs> Until then, don't forget to log on to atpworldtour.com for your 24-7 breaking news. See you next week.